All right, folks, so this this video, I wanted to make a quick video um, that might help people with uh, uh, Range Rovers. Uh, mine is a 2012 Range Rover uh, Sport and um, it's a five liter supercharged. And I just got it recently, but um, when I got it, the dealer was actually advising me of certain codes that um, were coming up on the obd2 scanner so uh pretty much fixed it and i just wanted to make a quick video that might help some people that might be having some issues with it because i did check online and others pretty much you know i've gone ahead and changed um said modules and uh sensors but i've had similar issues with other cars and i was able to do some basic troubleshooting and uh some basic things which have helped out so long story short i was coming up with the code P2402 to P2406 and uh, these could be codes specific to Land Rovers or maybe generic codes to other uh, cars as well but basically it was coming up that the um, EVAP um, canister or purge EVAP uh, valve high circuit um, now generally when something is high circuit that means that it's got some kind of a high resistance in terms of the electrical connection um, which may affect the functionality of the device itself. So basically, um, I mean, with today's cars, there's the, uh, the purge valve, which generally tends to be in the engine bay, and you have in the back of the car, usually the, uh, the charcoal canister as well. So, I mean, I have my uh, headset on with the uh, lights on. So uh, what I noticed was that I traced, and I took the... Uh, the front cover off uh, that's my supercharger there now I'm gonna show you where my the purge valve is in this car let me just take this off make it easier so you see this brown device right here this right there it's on the driver's side above the I'll say the valve cover right uh, it's hard to point to it but right there the one that's got the electrical connection right there on it the brown right there okay so that is your purge valve basically what it does it it just takes fumes from the gas tank and cycles it into the intake manifold and it gets burnt off to so become emission compliant now when that's gets clogged up or goes bad it will set a check engine light okay and uh, i'm gonna show you as well where the canister is on the Range Rover Sport. So, let me see, go to the back. Uh, let me see. Uh, let's see, it should be on the other side. All right, so I'm on the passenger side now. Uh, I don't know if you can see it, but that is I'm gonna go underneath the car anyway to show you better but I don't know if you could see back there now I'm gonna try to zoom in see the connection that the um, connector right there that's actually a charcoal canister all right that's part of the system so I'm gonna show you underneath the car um, where the electrical connection is for this okay so just one minute, let me just zoom back. Okay, this car has some huge air shocks. Look at the size of those things. I mean, I have other cars with these things, but I don't even wanna know how much it's gonna cost. Anyway, so that's another day. So I got the car on the lift at home. I'm a great lift, it's awesome. I could check up the car, that really helps out. So I got the spare wheel off, right? So, makes it easier. Now, another thing that I'm dealing with is the hoist for the spare wheel. Mine crapped out, started clicking, tried to take it off. I ordered another one from Amazon, it's coming in. 50 bucks, can't beat that. So, hopefully you should get it back tomorrow. I'll put another one. So I got the spare wheel inside the uh, trunk. But anyway, um, that is, Hold on one second. 
see all these connections right here see what the white plastic cover right there Let's see if I can show you better okay so there's the top part see the plastic housing right there with the harness okay see it right there there we go so what happens is that um, sometimes the circuit is high because this car obviously is underneath the, this this module is underneath the car and let's face it it's 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 exposed to a lot of moisture heat cold winter so over time the connection condensation sets in and corrosion might set in as well to those connectors so the basic things that I do is um, plug just the harness, right? Um, plug just the harness, use electrical connect connector, you can buy from any parts store. And I also have, let's see, where's my dielectric grease? I also use, sorry about that. No. I also use my dielectric grease on the connectors and I put that back and I also did the same thing to the purge valve disconnected that okay so hopefully this helps out and I've driven almost 200 miles and the issue has not uh, come back so hopefully that helps somebody out all right have a good one